Still June 2020, year of the unending plague. Say goodbye to architecture. Say goodbye to New York. And say hello to Miguel de Cervantes. In New York, say goodbye to the Flatiron Building, to the Chrysler Building, to the Empire State, to One World and Woolworth Buildings. In Chicago, say adios, Tribune Tower, Rookery, Sullivan Center, Merchandise Mart, Inland Steel Market. Say bye-bye, Kraus in Des Moines. Say hasta la vista, Southdale Mall, Edino, Minnesota. Say goodbye to one of my favorites, the Dixie Cup building in Missouri, the iconic building that explains why America's Midwest loved modern architecture. It's been empty for a while now. Ironically, the big microprocessor and data companies that are leading the charge against the industrial architecture of America are themselves going to leave behind vast ghostly buildings. They and all the other dinosaurs have been standing empty, monuments to nothing, as the companies discovered that productivity increased when their employees worked on lockdown from home. After the passing of the industrial age, the shopping decades, and now the early internet age, America will be the new tar pits where the coming generations can watch the suddenly killed dinosaurs of the 19th and 20th centuries. New York is already starting to be Las Vegas. In the near future, New York will be Las Vegas. All it needs is casinos. The Flatiron Building and Chrysler Casinos are on their way. And some of these iconic buildings will be Amazon distribution centers. In that way, they have fulfilled their destiny. Cultural tourism is the death of cities where tourists outnumber inhabitants. The buildings will still be there, but the real culture of the people who worked in them and lived there will be dead. Everything for any practical use will be made in suburbs from home by prisoners in lockdown. Art will be where middle brow suburbanites will come to take pictures. And artists will start once again the job of blowing up mediocrity. But then when was it anything else? In closing, I lift my hat to Miguel de Cervantes, the author of Don Quixote, who summarized all the bad taste of an epoch and made savage fun of it. Get on your Rocinantas, artistas.